In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a data validation list. Now, there are several reasons why you would need this list because um, well, one of the things that this list does do is that it restricts the user entry so that users only have a set of values to choose from. You can validate the data at entry so that you don't have to go back and check and make sure that everything was entered properly in these cells or not. And then finally, one of the benefits of this validation list is that you have... Uh, <coughs> you have a drop down list where users can choose their answers from um, so this makes the data entry process really easy and seamless so uh, let's go ahead and create a data validation list first I'm just gonna go ahead and create a validation under the helpful column I want the users to tell me if the reasons I have entered here were helpful or not um, so make sure that you have the data tab selected then click on data validation under data validation you have three windows you have the settings window the input and the error alert under the input message I'm just gonna go ahead and create a message um, I'll show you how this comes up in your spreadsheet it's actually Excel and this cell has validation under the settings tab now this is where I'm gonna define my validation I'm going to pick from a list and I can type in uh, the number of options that I want the users to see so the options that I would like them to see separated by a comma would be yes no and maybe and click on OK and there you go you see this drop down button right here and uh, there are, these are the options that which the users can choose from uh, one of the questions that I often get asked is that well do you have to repeat the same process for every cell um, in the sheet? Well the answer is no because you can simply click and drag it to the bottom and this creates a data validation on all of these cells. Uh, so now the users can only choose from a certain from a certain set of values. Okay let's go ahead and create another one real quick uh, going to the data data validation this time we're gonna pick a date and we want the date to be greater than the first of 2008 all right I have um, I didn't bring up any messages but I do have validation here um, let's go ahead and type in a value uh, something that's less than 2007 um, I'm sorry 2008 and there you go you get this error message that you cannot enter this value um, it's always a good option um, to go ahead and define the error alert uh, you might want to say date be greater than 2008 now if you try to enter a value press enter and um, you get this you get this customized error message date should be greater so click on cancel and then enter a date that really is greater than 2008 and it will accept that data entry so to copy this validation over multiple cells you just have to do the same exercise just click and drag and now you have validation on all of these cells to remove validation just click make sure that you have the cells selected go back to validation and under settings click on clear all and that will clear all the validations in the cell now you're free to enter anything you like